there's a white supremacist who um, has been, I don't know, for lack of a better term, has been arrested. And he's got a, uh, uh, he had a bunch of guns. He had a bunch of ammunition. He had a list of black and Jewish leaders that presumably were targets of his. This is being reported on Think Progress and federal agents were actually tracking Ohio resident Richard Schmidt's imports of counter counterfeit sports jerseys when they stumbled across the fact that he had 18 guns, more than 40,000 rounds of ammunition, bulletproof body armor. But besides the arsenal, he also had lists of Jewish leaders in Detroit, Michigan and black leaders in Detroit, Michigan. Now, if you don't know why it's unusual that Richard Schmidt had guns, he is an ex felon who ha actually was convicted of killing a Hispanic man and wounding two others 24 years ago. Nobody realized before several months ago that Schmidt, who is 47 years old, was amassing a huge cache of weapons illegally, according to the Cleveland Plain dealer. Um, federal investigators were just focusing on this Jersey counterfeiting Lewis that he was doing, which completely ignored the fact that we've got a white supremacist who shouldn't have guns amassing them. And he's got lists of Jewish and black people. Uh, he was eventually he will be sentenced in October. He pled guilty to federal gun charges and the counterfeit racket last month. The question, though, now becomes how did he get how did an ex con with white supremacist ties get so many guns. If you ask U.S. Attorney Stephen Dettelback, he said, I can't tell you how he got all those guns and ammunition. It's not that I won't tell you. It's that I can't. This is somebody who should never have had one gun, one bullet, but he had an entire arsenal. Why are they scratching their heads, Lewis? Don't we know that we have both ineffective, weak and unenforced gun laws in this country? I mean, that's broadly speaking how he was able to do this. Right. And look back, anybody who wanted to get their hands on on any type of weapon, generally, except for, you know, like a shoulder mounted RPG or something like that, has been able to do so. Assault weapons of any kind are, are widely available to those who who seek them out. Scott Kaufman is the head of the Jewish Federation of Metropolitan Detroit. He says he was spooked after discovering that his name was on Schmidt's list. He said for a convicted felon to amass an arsenal with 40,000 rounds of ammunition with no red flags popping up is problematic. No matter where you stand on the gun issue, it makes you wonder the moment I saw my name in this guy's notebook, I freaked out. And, uh, you know, we have to consider, Lewis, there have been decades, decades of hard work done by the gun lobby, by the NRA, by uh, 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 gun gun uh, enthusiast members of Congress and the Senate. And those are many of the reasons why we have the status quo. We have what we have now in terms of being able to get guns. And uh, there are so many areas where this could have gone differently. I mean, think about it. Um, uh, law enforcement, federal law enforcement agents are hobbled in being able to really pursue these types of things because states have many states have become uh, very outwardly fearful of the government becoming tyrannical and taking all of their guns. And it's hindered. It's, it's, it's put them at odds with federal agents. We also have um, uh, we have federal law enforcement barred from keeping these records on gun purchases because those are considered violations of privacy. There's so many of these areas, including being able to buy guns through straw purchasers. We've talked about it time and time again, Lewis. Anyone who's surprised that this white supremacist ex felon was able to acquire guns just simply hasn't been paying attention. Right. I mean, think about it. If if the, the majority of gun owners are as irresponsible as we think they are, What's to stop anyone from just making tons of money on selling guns illegally, uh, maybe even anonymously that they keep buying from manufacturers and distributors? I mean, it's it seems it's, it's almost impossible to solve this problem.